What's up guys, my name is Umar Khan. Today, I want to do a walkthrough of the property I just purchased. A lot of people have been asking me, Umar, where is your property located? Where's the numbers? If you wanna know where and what the numbers are, that video is right here. Take a look at that. That's that video, you'll see all of the, the, the numbers, how much is cash flowing, what I purchased it for, the equity in the property. If you wanna see that, that information is up here. This video is more of a walkthrough. And before I start guys, my name is Umar Khan. I'm a 21 year old real estate investor and I created this channel to put out personal development and real estate investing content. So if you wanna watch content like like that do make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the journey now without any further ado let's go in and see the property how it looks um, it's like a little triplex I purchased so this is a property that's actually my tenant right there uh, sitting on the little deck um, so that's how the front of the property looks it's a triplex it has uh, three units one unit upstairs two units downstairs this is the front of the property this is kind of how it looks now we go ahead and take a look at the units so this is unit number one uh as you see the main entrance we can actually go back real quick the main entrance you'd walk through you see unit one to the right in front and then unit two to the right so you know one is a one bedroom den and bathroom full bathroom three piece set so this is kind of a living area it is like kind of messy right now i am working on getting this mature tenant out of the unit just to up the rent and the, obviously as you can see it needs a rental it needs updating the bathroom is still very old style tub there's no shower head so it needs to be cleaned up everything is pretty much dated uh the floor looks like it was hardwood floor it just again very dated now this over here is the kitchen area we could see there's a, a sink that is very again very old style cabinets stove fridge little tv and i guess the sitting area where he eats uh right behind that is a is a window that he put up a sheet to block out uh this is his bedroom it's a it's a smaller bedroom and then where the that sheet is is a closet again it needs to be updated floor paint probably have to pull proper closet doors up proper curtains um so in this area this is like i would say a c level tenant so again they weren't really concerned but what i what i've seen and after doing some research is these areas could produce much more rent if you have it fully furnished so the plan is to get everybody out of the house give it a nice clean up a nice modern touch and then furnish it and then rent it out i will be trying out short-term rentals as well because I heard this market's doing okay for Airbnb so it won't be a harm in doing that that's my brother there who helped out tremendously in the rentals so this this shed area here possibly what I because it is like a common element area it's like the outside backyard entrance uh, I could potentially have a little coin laundry set up here since there are three units and they do go to a near coin laundry facility I might be able to right where you see that bike and that's junk over there is put like a one laundry machine one dryer side by side put a railing obviously around this um the basement area so that's how you go down to the basement because the basement is not in use it's just storage it's only five feet high but there i'm just directing the video how i could potentially make it uh into a little laundry facility um and we go down into the basement yeah like the basements are really small crawl space it's about five feet high you could potentially dig in and make another livable unit but the only issue with that is you need a ton of permits you just see if it's zoned for a fourplex uh and then like everything changes but for now obviously i don't want to invest that kind of money because i don't know if it's going to have a turn uh good turn out the first priority is clean up all the three apartments and get them good to go this is how the basement looks it's like uh it's a decent size to be honest you could actually squeeze in one bedroom uh, a bath a full bath a den it just needs to be like dug down about four feet deep uh, my brother-in-law actually did that in his house um, or is in his father's house and like they did it themselves uh, so it's possible but it's something to consider down the line for sure so so far that's unit one this is how the backyard looks it has a deck uh, this was addition they added and nice backyard so potentially guys I, I want to use the space because as you can see like the backyard is like a, a like the full house and a half right behind is a, is a fourplex you see in the backyard over there but i want to use this backyard and there's a couple ideas we can either put in a shed there and rent out the shed space a couple of sheds to be honest or potentially expand the house uh if we could zone it for a multi-unit if we can't zone it for multi-unit obviously that wouldn't be the case but another thing we could potentially do is just zone it to make it larger so you could charge more rent but there's a lot of possibilities just because there's so much like just land that's being wasted uh there's no kids they're all uh single family units so uh, you, I, there's not a big like family so it's not usable but it's like all this space that should be used that's not <laughs> you can see my brother taking a bow for the camera um, and then uh, this is unit two. 
So this is unit two. This is a unit we're actually currently working on. As you can see, this like a, it's like a studio apartment. This is a bedroom. Uh, and then this is a kitchen area. Simple stove, fridge. Uh, he was just packing up. This unit is already vacant. And the bathroom. And guys, you guys need to see the before and after for this place because we're just wrapping up the rhinos on this one. It looks absolutely stunning. That video will be coming out real soon. Uh, but that's the that's the the second unit. It's very small, quick little walker. And this is the third unit. In my opinion, the third unit is my favorite. It's on the upper level. And obviously it's larger because it's taking the square footage of both the first and second unit because it's on the upper level. But you walk in from the side, so it's a complete separate entrance. Um, as you can see, this wall that they put up was an attachment. Um, it enters into second unit. They just put a wall up and when they split it, they didn't do a well job. But again, we're going to do a complete run on this place, redo the stairs, redo the flooring, redo the walls. It'll be like, it might, we might do a full gut. We're going to have to see when we get, get, get the space vacant, but this is a bathroom. It's a three piece again, very old style. Um, just tub, no actual shower head. Uh, this carpet in the bathroom, which I think is absolutely disgusting. So that's going to be a must, must change. Um, then we have the living room, which is kind of nice. I actually like it. It's a, it's a decent space. Um, and that's the bedroom. Steps to go towards the kitchen and the kitchen, and you can put a nice, like, like, like a nice seating space and where you can have a little table, breakfast table, the kitchen, or you can have like a little dining room. This is actually a much like proper apartment just because it's like the layout is so nice, it's so family friendly. You know, you can have a couple in there, a small family starting up, uh, which is perfect. And then you steps to go down and the side profile of the house again. Simple, this one parking space, which we're gonna work on to expand. So the current plan for this, the, the driveway is, we, we could squeeze in three cars. If we move the steps, um, here, let's just get this out of the way, update. Okay, just go away for now. Uh, potentially, what we'll do is, we'll move the steps aside and see how that path is there, extend it all the way to the end, so you'd be able to park three cars, so each unit would have one parking space, because again, guys, in this neighborhood, if you if the units all are fully furnished, they're nice and clean, modern touches, with park H unit having a parking space, you could easily get from, for a small unit, get 700 to 800, and then the large units, nine to 1400. Especially the upstairs unit could definitely go front to 1400 with a parking space. The whole idea is just clean it up, make it modern, make sure everything's nice and functional, uh, the light fixtures are nice, like everything has to be like modern touches with parking spaces and it's just finding the right tenants doing your right background doing your right research and attracting the right kind of tenants but that's basically the property tour for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the content if you like this content do make sure you check out the numbers because i'll show you how i made thirty five thousand dollars on this deal just by purchasing it which is pretty awesome so go take a look at that one guys and until next time i will see you on so the if you enjoyed the video folks make sure you subscribe to the channel i think you're gonna like my last video over here or hey maybe this one over here